Hey, welcome back to Afternoon Break, everybody. We've been talking about I'm here in the kitchen with Chef Derek. Uh, chef, for starters, you're new in town. Is I am that right? This is correct. I am. I uh, recently got here a few weeks ago, uh, maybe about a month ago now. Okay. Yeah, so really new. You're taking the helm over at for the mansion, mansion on Forsyth. That, that is that right? correct. That is correct. I am uh, the chef over there, uh, you know, getting things ready. New menu just rolled out, debuted okay. yesterday. Um, you can make reservations, show up. And that's kind of what we're going to do here is kind of showcase something that's on new on the menu that, Ooh. you know, people can do at home as well. And then just, you know, getting things ready as a sneak peek into what we're going to be doing. Um, you know, eventually we will be shutting down and a renovation is going to happen, a reconcept, yeah. and we'll reopen in September. But definitely would love to have Savannah come in and be a part of the process as we're doing new dishes, new menus, um, to, you know, as we evolve into what we will become. Awesome. And this yeah. is quite literally a taste of what people can expect. So show, show us yes. what we're doing here. This is... For start, it's porchetta. Am I porchetta. saying that? So porchetta. Yeah. I was so, one. Yeah. I meant that. So you yeah, go. We're, yeah. Okay. So we're doing a, a porchetta. Um, we're using pork belly in ours. So traditionally, okay. in Italian cuisine, they'll use like the uh, the roast or like the loin, and they'll like slice it out. You'll have this more meatier uh -huh. part with the skin on. Um, but like, why would you not use pork belly? Because I mean, oh look at that gosh. fat on there. You get the crispy skin on there. That's the so, flavor of the fat. I'm yeah, telling. right. It's like Come that's on. why we make bacon out of it, <laughs> guanciale. So. Um, our process in the restaurant for the porchetta that we do, we actually cook it for 36 hours. Wow. Yeah. It, so we sped it, it up a little bit. Oh, 100%. 100%. I mean, we don't have time. Yeah. We can totally do that. Um, but yeah, so we do it for 36 hours and then let it rest. Um, why that's going on, um, so it makes the pickup a lot easier on service. We do kind of very similar to this, okay. where when you come in and you order it, it we just throw it right in a pan, sear it for you guys when you come in wow. for the guests. Um, and it's and we kind of did a little bit of a twist on what's going on now mm -hmm. uh, with Italian flavors with some like southern flavors going on in there too. Love it. Um, I'm it's like, well, why not? You yeah. got the best of both worlds why there not? going on. <laughs> and the fat in this just really lends itself, so it gets crispy. Mm. I wouldn't, you know, recommend eating this every day. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I wouldn't be mad at you if you did. You'd have a short, yeah. good life, a good short life. I mean, yeah. <laughs> life should always be just good. Yeah. So, but and then on the side, so we what we have here is we got some shallots, we got some garlic, and get the aromatics going. Once you start to really smell it, that's one of my favorite smells in the mm -hmm. kitchen. Is that going on? I wish they could smell through the screen right now. I know, it's right? Smell delicious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then we'll throw some apples in there. We're using oh. some Granny Smith apples in this, because um, I mean, apples, sweetness, pork, fat sweet goes great the sauce that we'll do later on it has mustard in it all these flavors just make sense so like why not I believe you yeah, yeah. <laughs> I trust you fully so, on this here so this is something we do so we add that in there we use granny smith it really gives that like nice little bitter bite yes. to it okay. that you want yeah. so it's not overly sweet um because it is a savory dish at the end mm -hmm. of the day um get those going for a little bit and then what we use is some rainbow shard um for the guests at home who want to do this at home and they can't find the rainbow shard yeah. they can find swiss shard collard greens kale any kind of hearty green awesome. like that. And they all work just about the same. Exactly, okay. 100%. Um, you want to, you know, make sure when they're cooking, it still holds down that bite, has that texture to mm -hmm. it that you're looking for. Um, but we get that sauteing, get it going down a little bit. We add a little bit of white wine. Mm. I do recommend when you're cooking with wine, if you're not going to drink it, why are you going to cook with it? <laughs> well, you taste test. Yeah, you exactly. make sure it's good. Exactly. Right. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> add a little bit of salt to that. And that's what, and then we just let this really kind of saute down. What a natural flip you have. There. <laughs> you're a true professional. I mean, 20 years of doing this, you're going <laughs> to, yeah, yeah you're going to develop something like that. Why this is going, you want to take some butter. Okay. I would say grab maybe three, four. Okay. Never go too many. Throw it right there in the sauce. Okay. So what we're doing here, this is our whole grain mustard sauce. Um, it's a reduction of the beef bone or the pork bones made into a reduction sauce. Okay. Added some whole grain mustard, some pickles, uh, mustard seeds, and some wow. Dijon mustard. Um, and just give it a little, little swirl. Yeah, okay. yeah, we're gonna um, basically what we're doing is what we will call like mounting the butter into that. Oh, yes. All right. Butter. What a great addition butter is to just about everything. Right. I mean, butter, <laughs> pork belly, like. I see why you say you probably shouldn't eat it every, every day, day, but <laughs> you can really enjoy it. hundred <laughs> percent. And then, as you can see, like reason why we call this rainbow shard, uh -huh. you got like on the stem portions, you got like the color of like the red. Oh, You'll find yeah. yellow in there. It's not just the white. Eating with your on eyes there. a little bit too. Hundred percent. I Love mean, that's that. what you eat with first. Yeah. So, yeah. Eyes, Instagram. Hundred percent. So yeah. these are dishes like like I said, very Italian driven. Uh, the new concept is going to be coastal Italian. Oh. So what we're trying to do is kind of give you guys every the you know city of Savannah and mm -hmm. the area 
the sneak peek of what it's going to become without Love everything that. being there, yeah. but be part of the evolution as we go. So we're doing, you know, some coast, some Italian inspired dishes, a little bit more of a classic mm -hmm. direction, um, just to really kind of bring it in, get the flavors right, you, you know, make my relationships with the farmers and the, the fishermen and everything like that. So when we're opening the reconcept, yeah. man, we have everything right yeah, there. Yeah, everybody coming and, through the door. And yeah. so everybody in Savannah has been a part of it. Oh, you know, I love like, that. It's like that one is big so family great. opening. Yeah. Kind of like, Bring in the key. Oh, yeah. That is so awesome. So once this gets nice little sear on there, all you got to do is take that off. Get that fat. Wow. Now, when you're done, if I, you're doing this at home, what I would do is save that. Yeah. Just gravy, <laughs> cooking. Like, I'm with don't, you. Yeah. Don't waste it. <laughs> Smart man. <too. laughs> yeah. All right. And then, so this is almost done. Okay. And then what we do? Oh, did perfect. I do that? Did I that's do that? Okay, yeah. yeah that's see, my cooking ability see, right there. You see that? Got that nice little shine to it, the nice yeah. little viscosity that's on there. Big word for like the thickness. No, um, I love <laughs> it. Yeah. <coughs> the new vocabulary is important. And then we'll just sauce this up. Wow. Oh my gosh. And that would be beautiful just like that. And then. Guys, this smells amazing, even better than it looks. So I, I feel bad for everybody at home right now, actually. I wouldn't. We have <laughs> reservations available. They can just come right on well in. Played. I will be there well every played. day. <laughs> and they can just come in. I'll cook for them. Oh, that's all they got to do. What a guy. Sacrificial. Come on. <laughs> and that right there, my sir, is what we would have as porchetta. It's a little bit of a southern twist. OK, this is it. So this is it right there. Just cut in normal? Dude, please, try on in there. Okay. Probably be a little bit hot, definitely fatty. But man, well, it should be tender cut right through that 36 hours of cooking ooh. just makes it, see, yeah. Well, while, I, while I'm doing this, remind yes. people again, new dinner menus out. New dinner menus Gonna out. have a relaunch coming as well. Correct, yeah. So new menu launched yesterday. Team is doing great, loving everything there. Make your reservations an open table. Please come on in. Um, and this is going to be a slow evolution of the reconcept that we mm. will close down um, mid-summer and then reopen in September. Mm. And like, right. Mm, and I was like, come on, you cannot go wrong with that. I'm glad they had to see me take it, but I was, I felt bad. I, I wasn't listening to a word you said. <laughs> that was just absolutely incredible. Cool. I, gosh, if, they, if anybody gets a taste of this, they're going to be coming back, coming back. It's going to be hard to keep them from not wanting to eat this or any of the other dishes you got every single day. And that's the point. <laughs> right? That's the point. We want people to see there's been some new life brought back in new menus, like new ingredients, freshness. We want them to come back. To. They want, I yeah. want them to have a bite like, that was so good. I want to see what the other dishes taste like. Mm. See, I want you to see you every like two or three times a week, if possible. I, love, I feel that I'd bring my wife, but she's going to be the third wheel on a, on a date. You know, it's going to be me, my food, and she'll just be <laughs> hanging out on this side. Chef Derek, thank you so much for stopping by today. Definitely. You thank can you. come by, bring this stuff anytime you want. And of course, if you guys want it, the mansion on Forsyth. Check out the new menu and stick around. So much more new stuff to come. Dude. So happy to have you Dude, in town. Pleasure. Thank you this so is, much. We're bringing the best people to Savannah. <laughs> we are getting spoiled, guys. And hey, don't go anywhere. I'm going to keep eating. You guys keep watching. We're going to.